All right, Bentley Continental GT, early cars. Doing a smoke test on the vacuum lines that come out the back of the firewall. Smoke machine is connected right here to the middle line that goes to the back of the intake manifold. It comes down behind the rack and pinion, splits off right over here to a little T. Now, that goes to the passenger side where there's a solenoid valve in the fender well. And this side goes right to the driver's side that feeds the vacuum reservoir and then goes to the vacuum brake assist pump right here. So if you also look at the lines where they connect, they back feed to the main connection of these vacuum lines that connect also to the intake plenum. And there's also plastic unions behind here and plastic tubes as well. I'm gonna show a smoke test now with this cap pulled off to show you that the smoke is coming off through the hose. And then we're gonna plug it as soon as we get the smoke coming out. We got smoke. Right here, as you can see. I'm gonna cap it. And look for more smoke. Make sure there's no leaks. As you can see, it's clean. The lines aren't cracked. And there's no leak. All right, now I'm gonna remove that hose off the middle. As you can see the smoke right here. We're gonna connect it to the engine. In the last video, it wasn't too clear, but this, I'm gonna show you exactly where I'm connecting to where that vacuum cap is painted red. Smoke machine's on. Connected it in. It's gonna back feed vacuum into the circuits and solenoids that control the turbochargers. All these lines are replaced with metal lines, the rubber cloth hose, and all the factory clamps.